How many ads on LinkedIn have you two clicked on in the last month? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a good question. Um, I think, especially given the fact that you can't do, uh, you can't do the, 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 the DM ads anymore. Um, I, so here's what I'll say. It depends upon how you define click. I love like these ads that have the scrolly stuff and they, you know, have all kinds of information. I mean, I'm clicking on it. I'm, I'm clicking on it. And the, the content is compelling. I'm going to learn more. So, but is I'm that not- because you're a marketer and great respects great? Or is it uh, because you're really no. interested? Yeah, it's because I'm really interested. I think most okay. marketers would tell you they, um, uh, if they see good marketing, they sort of, uh, they, they kind of trash it a little bit because they're like, I should have thought of that. Or it's only good because they can spend so much money. Uh, I'm like by nature a hater. Um, uh, and then if it's bad, you trash it because it's bad. Uh, so, so going after marketers is really challenging. Uh, I would say anything that I'm actually engaging with that is an ad, uh, it's because I'm, 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 uh, I'm generally interested. What I'll say is also, I never click on like search ads because, um, if I'm searching for something and I find it, I'm like, I'm going to save this person the 30 cents. I'm just going to go directly to their home page. Yeah. I know they're right, What about you? Well, I mean, um, none. Me too. And, uh, but, well, first of all, search ads, I never do only because the experience is so bad. Right. Like, cause I know I'm going to a landing page. Yep. Um, and if I'm on Google, I'm actually, my intentions are very earnest. Like I want to go, you know, do some research. So I do, it yeah. uh, but, but, um, I don't click on, I do click on ads. I do like consumer stuff. If I want to buy something, uh, you know, I, you can get me on those, uh, 75% off, you know, whatever. Uh, but, um, or if it's something interesting, like from a consumer perspective, but from a B2B, I don't, that said, I don't forget that much. Like if, and that's why when like, I'll just go back to what we talked about before. It's a mix of everything. And the most important thing is, can I triangulate around the key buyers that I care about? Yeah. You can, without me clicking, plant a seed in my head for the next time you reach out to invite me to an event with ads across anything. I don't care. You just got to get to me yep. uh, that I will, that will plant a seed in my head and everything has to work together. But like that does work. Like I do remember all, uh, I remember this at Gartner because I, I'm sure everyone was trying to hit us, but like I'd go get a briefing and I would go in with going, oh God, I know those guys. And it's because they push stuff at me at LinkedIn and maybe on, you know, some kind of ad network or whatever. And so, no, I didn't click on it, but that doesn't mean that I don't think that. So, it has- so, so the cool part about this, and this goes back to where we we're talking a little bit about brand campaigns to some extent, like. The, the fact that you're doing it has that secondary effect that it acts as a brand campaign. You see something yeah. enough, you have a higher likelihood of engagement. So, yes. you know. I, yes. Yeah, totally. Thanks for tuning in to GTM Unfiltered. To hear our innovative insights and strategies, visit gtmunfiltered.com. Be sure to subscribe and leave us a review on your favorite podcast platform. Until next time.